til på den. I hope you are uh, studying that chapter, Simple Harmonic Motion. We have discussed the energy of a particle executing Simple Harmonic Motion. And today we will be studying force law in Simple Harmonic Motion. Force law. Okay. So first you have to consider a particle executing simple harmonic motion. One example for a body executing simple harmonic motion, can you tell? Simple pendulum. Simple pendulum. You can see a simple pendulum. Simple pendulum is, uh, a, you can see a string and a point mass is attached at the end. Here it is rigid. One end of the string is rigid, fixed. One end of the string is fixed on a rigid support, and the other end, a small mass is attached to the string. A small mass attached at one end, other end it is fixed. And here, when we slightly raise this bow and release, the pendulum will oscillate. That is an example for symbol harmonic motion. Motion of a symbol pendulum. First it moved to the right extreme. Restoring force uh, act on it to bring it to the mean position. So it will uh, first it will come back to the mean position and it will not stop here. Due to inertia it moved to the other extreme Q. Again restoring force is acting to bring it to the mean position. So that is what we have seen. Restoring force is directly proportional to displacement and it is always directed towards the mean position. So we got the formula F is proportional to Y, F is equal to minus KY. Minus Y we have taken. Restoring force and displacement are in opposite direction. So F equal to minus KY that we have studied. Then we also know when a body executes simple harmonic motion, acceleration is minus omega square y. So the restoring force is also equal to mass into acceleration. So we can write mass into omega minus omega square y. So we got two equations for the simple harmonic motion for a body executing simple harmonic motion. So we can compare both of the restoring force expressions. So we can compare 1 and 2. So we get k minus ky equal to minus m omega square y. So y y cancel. k equal to m omega square. Therefore omega square equal to k by m. Therefore omega equal to square root of k by m. And uh, omega we know it is 2 pi by t time period. So that's equal to root of k by y, m and uh, t inverting it. We are going to find the expression for time period. So just invert it. t by 2 pi equal to root of k, m by k. So t equal to, that is the expression for time period for a body executed simple harmonic motion. The time taken for one oscillation, that is time period. What is the expression? 2 pi the root of m by k, m by k. In linear, two types of simple harmonic motions are there. Linear, similar, for example, like this. For example, a, a spring. You can see a spring. A spring here. A mass is attached at the end of the spring. Here it is fixed. And here it is a mass is attached. Then we, this is the main position. When we stretch it and release, what will happen? The, the mass will oscillate about this mean position. That is a linear simple harmonic motion. So in two types of simple harmonic motions are the linear simple harmonic motion and angular simple harmonic motion. Angular is this, angular simple harmonic motion. So in linear simple harmonic motion, see, general expression for time period is this. In linear simple harmonic motion, M will be mass and K will be force constant force per unit displacement, force per unit displacement. So in linear simple harmonic motion expression becomes 2 pi in the root of 
mass into force per displacement. So displacement comes to the numerator. Then um, force is mass in the acceleration. So mass, mass you can cut. And we get t equal to 2 pi in the root of displacement by acceleration. This is the expression for time period in linear simple harmonic motion. In angular simple harmonic motion, what is the difference? Here mass will be moment of inertia. That's the difference. And it K will be, here we have taken force per, restoring force per unit displacement. But in angular simple harmonic motion, it will not be the restoring force, it will be restoring torque. Okay? So restoring torque per unit displacement. You have to find out in angular similar harmonic motion. Okay? So we got the expression for time period and uh, we have to find the expression for time period in the case of a body executing similar harmonic motion. That means in the case of a simple pendulum. Okay, let us see that. Expression, let it be there. Okay. So here we can see a simple pendulum. And what is simple pendulum? Simply a string and a mass point, mass is attached. And one end it is fixed. And uh, here it is slightly raised and released. So it will begin to oscillate. And that is simple harmonic motion. And here, when it begins to oscillate, restoring force, when it moves to the right extreme, restoring force act on it to bring it to the mean position. It will not stop at the mean position. Maximum velocity is attained at the mean position. And it goes to the other extreme. Velocity becomes zero. Then restoring force, as restoring force is acting on it, velocity becomes zero. And when velocity becomes zero, it will come in the direction of the restoring force. So like that, the motion is continuing. So here, which are the forces acting on the pendulum at the time of oscillation? You know, weight is acting vertically downwards, mg. And as there is a string, and the tension will act on it. Tension is, we can see tension in the string that here, Mg is downwards, and a component of Mg are, Mg goes to this angle is theta, perpendicular on this line, making an angle theta, so this also will make an angle theta. So, component of uh, Mg, that is near to the theta, which component lies, Mg cos theta, and perpendicular to that, which component lies, Mg sin theta. And here, as the string remains tight, it is not a uh, breaking, or it is not uh, slackening. So it is uh, neither slackens nor breaks. That means it remains tight there. It remains tight there because of these two forces. And we can write at that case T equals to mg cos theta. We can write T equal to mg cos theta. Because it is not breaking or it is not slackening. Both the forces are equal. So we can write T equal to mg cos theta. Okay. Then uh, tension in the string. Then which is the force acting, a restoring force, which component is helping to bring it to the main position, which component of mg? mg cos theta. So F, restoring force F equal to mg sin theta. Then uh, when theta is uh, very small, we can write sin theta equal to theta. Sin theta is approximately equal to theta. So F is equal to mg theta. mg into theta. Okay. Then next is the restoring torque. We, can, we have to find out restoring torque. Restoring torque. Torque is equal to restoring torque is equal to tau. Tau is equal to force into into distance, perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the body. That means that is the L. That is the distance L. L is known as length of the pendulum. What is length of the pendulum? It is the distance from point of suspension to the center of the bob. That is length L. So that is actually about this axis the pendulum is rotating. So this 
is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So mg theta into L restoring torque. And uh, this is, uh, we can write, this is equation number one. And restoring force is always opposite to the displacement, so we can put the sign minus also, restoring force torque is also minus because it is opposite to displacement. Theta is the displacement, angular displacement. Restoring force is always opposite to displacement, so minus sign we can put, okay, minus sign. Then, uh, you see, restoring torque is also proportional to theta, as we have done in linear simple harmonic motion, force is directly proportional to displacement, F is proportional to Y, F equal to minus KY. Similarly, we can write torque is proportional to theta, Tor torque is equal to restoring torque, okay. K theta, question number two, minus K theta, because this is also the opposite to displacement, minus KY, we have taken in linear simple harmonic motion, here minus K theta, restoring torque, K is the restoring torque per unit displacement, T, torque by theta, K is torque by theta, restoring torque per unit displacement. So we got two equations, and uh, here, we can substitute for time period. Time period is equal to, time period T is equal to 2 pi into root of, in the case of M, here linear simple harmonic motion, we take M as mass, but in angular, this is angular simple harmonic motion, we have to take M as moment of inertia. What is moment of inertia? Moment of inertia, we have studied the expression i equal to m r square, i equal to m r square. So here also we can take i equal m, moment of inertia we can take as m r square, r square is the distance, yeah, this perpendicular distance l, m l square by k, k, comparing these two we can take k, what is k? Comparing, comparing, uh, equation 1 and 2. Yes, equation 1 and 2. What we get? mg theta equal to k theta. Both are minus. Then theta we can cancel. k equal to mg. Now L is also there now. Where is L? Yes, L is there. Minus mg L theta. Okay. A equal to mg L. Okay. A equal to mg L. This value of K, we have to substitute here. So mg L. So 1 L get cancelled. Mass get cancelled. T equal to 2 pi into root of L by G. This already we have learned this equation. Time period of a pendulum executing simple harmonic motion. T equal to 2 pi into root of L by G. Okay.